Okay, I have got a uh, 60s or 70s manual, Galaxy 12 by Smith Corona. We're going to do a typing demo today. This is the original blue. It's very pretty and in really good shape. There's a few minor nicks on here, but this almost looks like it is fairly new from the store. But we're going to show you how to use one of these. This is a really good machine for, um, well, really for everybody. It's a good everyday machine, but if you are a new typer, you might really like something like this because it's going to perform well for you and you can still um, transport it. It's not as small as some of the other portables, but it is um, portable so you can still take it with you to a copy shop or a typing group or um, it's just small enough that you can put it in a nice little writing nook or reading nook that you have. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at it. This one has a 12 inch carriage. Um, I do like the 12 inch carriages for those of you who for whatever reason may be using paper um, in landscape or portrait or crafters. Sometimes you have odd sized papers or who knows what you would need it for. At least a 12 inch carriage gives you the flexibility to use different sizes. So. If you think you might be using it for some special projects, I would look for a typewriter that has a 12 inch carriage. So this is where um, your paper is going to go right in between these two metal pieces right here. And then you, once you put it in, you can pop up this bar and that's going to keep it from falling over to your paper holder. You're going to see right here, this is how you set your margins and you just press them down and then slide to where you want them to be. And then right here on the left side is a paper guide and that comes in really handy. If you're going to be writing multiple pages, you need your margins to line up in the same place. Therefore, you need your guide so that you can load your paper in the exact same place every time instead of a little bit here or here or even here, you know, that way your margins are going to be in the same place. So let's go ahead and load this. So you put your paper there and then you turn the handles so that the roller catches it. Pull out the bar while you roll. I always like to roll it halfway to make sure I'm even. And look, I'm uneven. So what I need to do is on the right side is a paper release. That releases the tension on the paper and that way I can slide it and get it nice and easy, even. Pop it back and then now I can come back down here. I'll put these bars up. Just kind of hold that paper. Okay. Also on the carriage, this is a, well, first of all, this typewriter is manual. You don't need to plug it in. It doesn't need batteries or a charger or anything like that. It's just manual labor. So it's your fingers that um, get it to work. Once you load your carriage in, you can slide the carriage by releasing it. There's two white levers right here. Pull that in. That releases the carriage. It's going to want to go to the left because of the tension on the jaw band. Um, and you might want to do that just to check and make sure there isn't anything caught in there, but it's nice and loose. This is your starting point right here all the way to the right. And then as you type, it's going to go all the way. And when you get to the end of your margin, let me pull this in, the bell will ding to let you know you only have a couple spaces left. If you have um, a couple characters you need to add to that last word, like an ER, then hit your margin release. That releases the margin and you can keep typing. When you get to the end of the line, this is a manual typewriter. So you just push the return handle. It's going to do two things advance it to the next line, and then you push it back to the beginning of a line. The one, two, and a three determines if it's going to advance one line, two lines, or three lines. I love the three line option because you can take notes. If you're going to be doing editing, you can take notes in between those lines. Okay, so once you have it, then this is the starting point right here. Now we're going to look inside the typewriter, but before you look inside the typewriter, we're going to have to move the carriage because if you notice, this return handle is right on top of the cover and we need to open this up. And so you're not going to be able to open the cover or if you try, you're going to scrape it. So again, use your release handles, release the carriage, move it to the left, open up the top. 
and there you have the insides. So this takes a universal ribbon. You can get them easily and our shop always has them on hand. We put new ribbons in all of our typewriters. Mate, when you do order a typewriter, make sure you double check the ribbon before you um, do any typing because during shipment, they can get, they can pop out, they can get twisted. We do to put packing material in here, but still they can get twisted in there or they may come out of the guide wires. There are photos of each typewriter of the interior, so you can make sure that your ribbon is threaded properly by looking at the photo. This one has four different ribbons. Now the um, ribbon goes one direction, the spool. Once you get to the end, your typewriter might e is either going to lock up or as you're typing, you're going to notice it gets really faint. When that happens, stop right away because if you keep typing and you're and it's really faint you might tear your ribbon and we don't want that to happen because you're you're just pulling on that ribbon and it's at the end of the spool what you want to do is pop this top off and go to this switch right here and it's just a real subtle change you switch directions and you go back the other way and you can do that multiple times until you use up all the ink in your ribbon let me put it back this way. Okay, and then once it's time to switch out, you just pop it out and pop a new one in. Okay, let's put the top back on and let's go ahead and type um, on this machine. I'm gonna say 1970s. I have a feeling it's a 60s, but I'm just gonna put 1970s. Backspace, when you make a mistake, there's no delete button. You just backspace and type over it or exit out or dash through it. Okay, this is your color selector. It's on red right now. I'm gonna switch it over to black. In the set and clear and the middle thing, these are tabs. This typewriter has a regular space and a power space, Oops, which is a good point. Sometimes carriages do this even on electric, so make sure there are no coffee mugs or flower pots or anything like that anywhere near your carriage. I have busted a few. And I'm glad this one had been moved over for the video because I would have had hot tea all over the place. Okay, let's go ahead and keep typing. And I want to try this power space again. Okay, so this power space is just re is just releasing the carriage, so I wouldn't use the power space. Highly recommend not using it. One note about manual typewriters, sometimes it's going to take you a few times to get used to how it types. Electrics are much more sensitive, they're more like a computer, but manuals each have their own feel. So if you hit it too hard, it might stick or um, too long. Uh, each one is different. So this one I've learned um, that you just kind of have to hit it kind of hard and quick that way and it works much better that way so sometimes if the key sticks it's not because there's something wrong with it it just could be you're hitting it too hard so just and see that's the same key and it worked just fine it has to do with the tension and the feel of the typewriter and sometimes it gets um, you just have to get used to it okay let's try the red again I 
in this field action. That was better you do it. So this typewriter types very well. It has a really um like a fast uh click. It's like bam, 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 bam. I like that. Because it has a fun little click too. Um it types very quick. Um it's gonna be good. It's a good everyday typewriter. So this is gonna work well for people who you have a lot of, whether you have a lot of projects and in terms of you're gonna be like writing a book on it or you're just gonna be writing letters or journals, this is gonna be really good for you. Um, if you're just looking for something affordable, you're gonna love it. Um, it's transportable. It, the only thing I wouldn't recommend it for maybe is for the younger kids, you know, like say non preteen and younger um, probably not the best idea only because not that it doesn't work and maybe they'll be fine with it is you do have to exercise. Like I have really small hands, so I cannot do the home thing very well. I can do it. Well, I've been typing a while, so I've built up my muscles, but they're going to just be one fingering it and typing really slow. And that may, if that's going to be frustrating for them, you may want to look into an electric but otherwise, this is a really good typewriter. Love it. Love that it's the original color. You're just going to be happy with it. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the other typewriters we have. Check out the link in the comments below to learn more about this particular typewriter. And as always, thank you for watching. Have a great day.